Hello folks, welcome to the Ancient Channel. In today's video I will present to you this e-bike LCD display that I recently bought. This model, this one is S866. This is very common for several brands and models of e-bikes around the world. So this video will present to you how to make the connections. I will explain how is each wire of this connector, the options regarding the connector, and some parameters and some demonstration powering up this e-bike LCD outside your e-bike. Okay, this is maybe used when you need to do some true shooting and even for make the parameter of your LCD of your e-bike. Okay, let's start first for the manual. Uh, I bought the LCD and comes with the manual in English. Despite come from China, the documentation is in English and is very good. So as you can see in this page, we have all the information of parameters. The parameters start for P01 and then goes until P35. Okay. Here have all, all the information. So then we have in the next page, we have the the manual regarding the buttons. This is the indication of each position that we have in the LCD display. I will show this when I power up. So we have as well the diagnostic. So if you have some issue in the in your e-bike, this appears in the LCD display. And as well we have the function of operation that you can parameter. There is some uh, options that you can adjust your e-bike like uh, limitation of speeds and pedal assistance and everything. And in the last page we have the wiring configuration. As you can see this uh, LCD display is sell by two models of connectors. One is this one that is rectangular and the other one is rounded. This rounded is supposed to have more isolation when you to protect against dust and and as well for uh, water and as well in the manual <coughs> we have the the codes the codes that we can understand what is happen with your e-bike for example we have a normal situation the status codes is e00 after this we have e06 that means that battery under voltage we have Motor failure is 07, turn malfunction, we have controller failure, matter data receiver failure, and meter data sender failure. Okay? And as well, the most important information to power up, we have here the information about the, about the cables, the wiring. So the number one that uh, is in the round connector. We have the black wire that is GND, then we have the green one that is RX, the yellow that is TX, the blue that is instrument power cord. That means that when you power up your LCD, this will be provide the output in this wire to energize all the instruments of e-bike, and the red and the red wire that is, is the positive of the power supply of the controller okay so let's see in practical uh, regarding the wiring uh, as you can see uh, left to right we have the red one is the positive of the power supply of the controller power line then we have the blue one that is the output to the instruments this will be active when you power up the LCD display then we have the black wire that is the third one then we have uh, the green wire that is the receiver from the controller and then we have the yellow one that is the transmitter to the controller okay so let's power up to do this i have this usb power supply so i will just will connect the the wires as per color because we already know that is the black one is the negative and the red one is the positive okay regarding the voltage that 
you can supply this is will can work with several voltage uh, as you can see we have the information about 36 volts but this could be configurable and uh, so we can have voltage that is like uh, starting by 24 volts DC and then after this we can uh, 36 okay and then after this we have 48 volts DC and finally the maximum voltage that we have is 60 volts DC okay so cables already connected so let's power up the USB here we will start with a voltage of 24 volts so the LCD is energized right now but we need to power up to power up we need to press and hold the power up button then we have the information came into the display so as you can see we have the information of speed this is the real time speed then uh, we have here in kilometers per hour you can change for uh, miles per hour as well then we have the assist so we have five level of assist this can be changed by pressing the plus button and to decrease we we press the the minus button okay then we have the information of the battery this graph here so when the battery is completed the dashes is full now we can see that we have only only two dashes but we can adjust here the voltage and if you reduce we can see that the voltage drops and then we have this such of blinking that means that some alarm in the in the LCD display for informing that the battery is low and adv advise the the biker so when it drops more we can the graph fully empty okay in this case here when you have 19 volts we have empty the graph of the battery here okay then in the below of the screen we have the odometer as you can see this display is new one so that's why we have zero kilometers then when you press the button of power we can change for the information of trip then if you press more once time then we have the voltage of the battery as you can see we have 18.8 .8. it's almost the voltage that we have powering okay then we have the time the time that we started the the e-bike display okay so this is the basic functions now when we want to go to some parameters then we need to press this hold these two buttons together plus and minus buttons to enter to the parameters enter in the parameter functions we will start by p01 and then we can navigate until the p23 so as you can see we are showing now p15 16 17 18 19 p20 21 22 23 is the last one and then we will return to p01 okay to return we can press quickly the both buttons or you just can wait then the parameters we return for the initial screen okay so to recapitalize pressing the two buttons here plus and minus we go to parameters then we can change for example this one that is the brightness then once it's complete we can just wait and then the display will return for the initial screen after some while okay so that's it for this video i hope that you enjoy this content if this was useful for you thumbs up and for more content like this one please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video